I'm Rafael Vignoli. I'm uh, the master planner for the new project for the redevelopment of the Battersea Power Station site. The most important object of the site is, of course, the power station, which uh, remains the central focus of the plan. The power station is then framed by two residential buildings and that guides the view towards this park that is the main public space. To the south of the station, we're creating a hotel and an office block and two residential blocks. The access to the site then from the south is achieved through uh, three main avenues. The high street links the new tube station with the town square and it is a two-level pedestrian thoroughfare that is activated by retail frontages, cafes and art galleries, creating a very active urban life. Imagine you're exiting from the two below. The upper level is very much linked to the lower levels. From here you start seeing the architecture of the buildings that define the space of the high street, leading towards the power station in the back. So the power station always remains as a main reference to orient yourself through the site. The second and perhaps most spectacular point of access is what we call the prospect. The main purpose of the prospect is to link the local community to the site, to enable people to have a very clear uh, view of the power station from Paris Park Road. It's activated again by a series of cafes and opportunities for people to enjoy the space itself. It's lined by trees, highlighted by this uh, reflecting pool that drips down into the public space to maximize the, the presence of the building in the whole experience of walking through the site. Hotel Lane is a three-line boulevard that is the main point of entrance into the site for vehicles and main access to a new building, which is a hotel, that opens into a larger square, which is open to the sunlight from the south. The park will become a leisure destination for visitors it will be a resource for the use of residents, but also for the public at large. Pathways through the open parkland reflect the historic pattern and the typical tradition of London public spaces. All of these public spaces lead you to the experience of re-encountering the power station, renovated again into a very important attraction. Both turbine halls are also going to be renovated. Each of them is the size of the Tate Modern Gallery. Embedded in the center of the power station, there is a huge conference center with a wonderful 2,000-seater for banquets and events of many kinds, linked directly to the access from a series of cascading stairs. At the top of the building, there's six floors of office space, punctuated by a series of atriums that bring natural light to the spaces. The important story behind this is that the power station returns to its original function. It will become again a power station, producing carbon neutral energy, venting water vapor through the original stacks. This is a very well balanced solution for a site with an enormous set of opportunities and challenges. It will revitalize the view of the power station to create a new destination for London 